Fog U. Some lovely colouring in the U. I mean, it's 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 lost its colour. It's lost its natural oranges, and it's all light brown, black on the outside where it's been in the peat. But it's an odd shape. I'm making a lot of resin pieces at the moment. Resin wall hanging pieces. Some of you might have seen already posted. Yeah, you would have done by now. But I need a dump pot for resin. When you've poured in and you've gone to the maximum you want to go to and you've still got a bit left, I want to be able to dump it into a pot rather than waste it or just let it go off in its little container. I want a dump pot. But because I'm making several at the same time, at least two on the go at one time with different colours, I'm going to need two dump pots. So I'm thinking this piece of U and a lump of the bog oak. But I don't like this flat spot. So I've got a fair bit of trimming to do. Just some rough markers there from it where I want to cut. Hang on, let me get this get this round so it fits in the pot. Come back to you, two secs. Great, that fits in there just lovely. Tucks up to this side, leaving all this exposed. Got some natural around this side as well. Just this flat spot. I think I'm just going to polish up that just a little bit. And then once that's under the resin, it might be quite attractive. The only other solution is to cut this corner off. I don't think I want to do that. I filled up my resin dump pot. Take a peek in here. Ooh, for the resin. The last pour I did, I had some clear resin left over. So I dumped some black mica powder into it. This is all made up from surplus resin and various mica powders. So getting it out of that, I've got three choices here. I can smack the head out of the pot. I can hope it comes out or I can cut this off and then turn the plastic off so let's see if it'll come out with one sharp shot oh yeah haha -ha! reusable pot and there you can see my bit of bog you in the bottom there big chunk of resin at this side and the various colors i think this blue at the bottom was two or three different pores of the same colour. And then you've got some red mixed in with some tangerine, I think. A lemon or something such similar. And then a layer of black on the top there. Now, okay, what I'm thinking, chuck in this side. Nice inny in there, into the wood, once the, the bit of resin has come off the bottom. <laughs> Basic standard bowl shape and then a nice fat U so it comes through that black through the yellow and into the orange so the orange a bit of the base that should be quite attractive in that rim there and then dig the bowl out as standard what I do need to do is just nib that off because I think I'm going to put my face plate on there and that will interfere with the jaws so two secs I can now draw those screws in. Forgive the lighting at the moment, it's not brilliant in here and my shadow will get in the way a bit. But this is going to be fun. It's going to be messy, but the colours are glorious. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a pain in the rear end to finish, because I don't like finishing resin on a lathe, but we'll see. Okay, let's get turning. It's not fun so far. <laughs> look at this. Look at it. Loads of it. I've got so much more of it to get out. Yay.
You see, there is some wood in there somewhere amongst all this. <laughs> few lumps of resin left on there, a little bit here. Dig out a little, little inny from a chuck grip and then I'm going to round this as best I can. Rub that Santa sealer in the grain as much as possible. Then I'm going to leave it a good while to dry properly. Bog U lost all its colour. 3,000 year old. It's partly rotten, I think, a lot of it. <laughs> but, you know, it's still got some lovely grain to it. I'm just wondering what the inside's going to look like. Right, I've denibbed the Santa Sealer with some 320 grit. Now I'm going to attack it with some Yorkshire grit. The harsher stuff, not the, the not the ultra fine yet. This is starting to look rather splendid. And apply some of the ultra fine. Now that's looking pretty clear at the moment, but there's still a lot of tiny lines and actually some and actually some residue of the Yorkshire grit. Top coat two nano finishing polish. Apply it with a bit of nice, nice, nice soft bit of cotton. It's got nano abrasives in it. All right, I'm gonna crack on with that. Next you'll see it is turned around and we we'll start doing the hollowing. Because that is working rather well. I'm interested to see what happens when I dig the bowl out because you'll be able to see through it and you should be able to see this a lot clearer as well. Huh. Oh, let's get to it, I suppose. You can see the lovely colours, lovely chunk of you through the middle there. The orange, very chipped out because I am just roughing out and digging out and getting a shape. So not worried about all the all the chip out. Should I start digging out the rim now or should I leave it till a bit later? Yeah, okay, I'll dig it out now because then I can determine how big I need it. I want it. I'm thinking about an inch. Might be bigger. We'll see. I think that I do on the rim. I got some red showing there. It's once that's clear, you'll see the orange from the 
from the top. Is that deep enough? Just a little bit more, because this is all yellow, isn't it? Just needs to go through a very thin layer of clear. All right, I think that's good enough. No real chipping there at all. Nice smooth cuts. I haven't touched this top edge yet. I'm going to do something special with that in just a moment. I, I like the thin bit here and the thick bit here. I've purposely done that. I like that. Got a few little bubbles around the around the U that's buried in there. This is in the wood. There's nothing I can do about that. I have sanded and sanded and sanded. That is not coming out. I've glued. I've super glued. Hopefully this bit of sander sealer I get in there. That'll clean that up a little bit as with any other little tiny holes and things. But for the most part, it's looking really good. That's a 320 grit finish so far. First things first, a bit of sand and cedar in there before I do the first Yorkshire grit. Now, I'm doing this with my left hand because the glove I used for the super glue earlier is well stuck with two fingers together. This side's still usable, so I know. Uh, Left-handedly. Just on the wood, not worried about the resin. Okay, oh, don't forget these bits. So the top bit, while that sand sea was drying, shame about this, it was, I, this, it's in the wood, I cannot get rid of it. And trust me, I've tried. With this, I'll take a block with a nice flat edge, this bit of bog oak, and hold it at just a very slight angle with the coarse sandpaper, so it eventually touches and creates a very slight angle on the whole top edge and cleans up all these these marks obviously but it's just something a bit different than a standard bowl we like that that top rim is black on top with the yellow underneath it it's kind of a greeny hue to it. I quite like that. It's still got lots of the lots of the white stuff on that but just wanted to show you the patterns and the colours. Lovely orange around here. Lovely red. The black on top that almost looks green with the yellow underneath it. In different lights it's going to look different but I love the accent on top finishing with the black just gives that air of sophistication right, let's get the rest of this wax off that is looking pretty fine i think i just need to finish with some of this top finish two make this a little bit clearer happy 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 so far all is good the colors in all of these apart from the black which was some clear that i mixed some black mica powder into they all belong to projects. So the orange you've seen in a previous video, the yellow you've seen, the clear is just a clear coat that I, I dumped in the pot. The blue, I don't think you've seen that in a piece yet. This particular blue has got some of the phosphors in it. So it's actually, <laughs> actually glows in the dark. Now I'm definitely not telling the owner of this one, this bolt, that that's, the case and I'm going to let them find that out in time in due course and maybe one day they'll come back and go oh did you know it a part of it glows in the dark 
Uh, that'd be brilliant. Uh, so I'll just show you quickly. 